Kyle joins me for our first look at sports. So all this rain we've gotten this week is wreaking havoc and rain right uh, for the CPCA. Uh, yeah, they had to cancel the first day on mm -hmm. Thursday, uh, but luckily they were able to race on Friday. So let's take a look at the top times from last night. Coming out on top on day one would be Chance Best Miller with a time of 104. There we go, 104.81. Last week's Dewberry champ, Vern Nolan, was in second with a time of 105.34. In third is Dave Galloway with a time of 105.75. He was assessed a one-second late outrider penalty, which cost him the top time of the day. Rounding out the top five is Chance Bensmiller again in fourth and Todd Baptiste in fifth. Bensmiller was very happy that the track held up on Friday night. I used a bunch of new horses, so I was really happy with how they worked. And, and to go on a track like that, and usually on a track, depending on the, w the way the track works, either they tighten up as the night goes on or they get worse. But last night, it seemed to the track kind of held steady the whole way through. There was a lot of 106s and 107s. And, you know, to get top time of the day in heat two, I was really impressed with that. Unfortunately for Benz Miller and the rest of the drivers, there will be no races today either. For the second time in three days, the CPCA has been forced to cancel the races due to unsafe track conditions caused by all this rain. Hopefully the weather crop waits tomorrow for Championship Sunday. The Vandals, fresh off their first win of the season, are in Grand Prairie today for a date with the Drillers. It's the battle of the one and two teams. Jake Hotchkiss had a great game in his first start at quarterback for the Vandals, coming up with clutch offensive plays all game long. Hotchkiss will need to be sharp again tonight as the Vandals attempt to get to 500 on the season. The game just got underway a few minutes ago and we will have an update for you tomorrow. Last Saturday, the Women's Reapers rugby team was in Fort Mac for a matchup with the Knights. This Saturday, the Knights returned the favor and made the trip to the Border City for the rematch. The Reapers had redemption on their minds after being outscored by more than 30 points a week ago. It was a rainy day for rugby, but it didn't seem to affect the ladies one bit. They come away with a 34-22 win, avenging the lopsided loss from last week. The women won't play again until early July, on July 6th, when they're in Calgary for the Stampede Sevens Tournament. If you had a tea time booked today, you were out of luck. All the wet weather has forced the Lloyd Minster Golf and Curling Centre to close the course for the day. But don't worry if you're hoping to swing the sticks this weekend, the course is expected to be open again by tomorrow around noon. If you have any questions, you can call the Pro Shop at 306-825-5494. A Canadian golfer is pledging that by cutting his strokes, he'll be helping out needy folks. Weyburn, Saskatchewan's Graham Dillette will be donating a sum of money to the flood relief efforts in southern Alberta based on his play at the PGA Tour Travelers Championship. The 31-year-old announced it on Twitter by tweeting, I will be donating $1,000 for every birdie I make this weekend and $2,500 for every eagle to support the relief efforts in Alberta. PGA Tour Canada is also getting in on it. They will match whatever Dillette donates to the charity of his choice. The Canadian is doing pretty good so far. After three rounds of play, Dillette is in a three-way tie for first at 10 under.